Welcome back. This is the second tutorial, and this one is about a bouncing ball. Okay, so let's get the tools. Click on Toon Boom, and let's select the paintbrush. And make sure you have black, that you have your setup like this, exactly what I taught you on the first tutorial, getting started. If you don't remember, go back to it, watch it again, and set these things up like that. You can quickly go over here to Window, and save your workspaces. I've saved mine as Jamie. So where do you save that? Right here under New Workspace. And when a little window pops up, type your name in there. Okay, I've already done it, so I'm gonna leave mine set on the Jamie one. Okay, so what I want you to do is get the paintbrush, and notice there are other tools here, but stay on the brush, and I want you to draw a circle up here at the top. The next step, because this is Disney's step called uh, well, it's a principle of animation number one, squash and stretch. Disney created it. Other animation studios use it. So it's pretty common to use. So don't think like it's an infringement on anything. So let's go ahead and take and go to the next step. What we want to do is go to the next frame. Click right here. Now we can't see the last frame, so I need you to turn on the onion skins right there. Look up here on PC Windows and see if maybe you need to find this button and put it all the way on previous three drawings. All right? Now, it'll turn pink or reddish, and then it'll give you the ability to take your brush and draw the next uh, circle, which if this is squash and stretch, this circle is now going to start stretching as it bounces here and pops back up. All right, so this next circle, I'm going to kind of stretch it a little bit. And if I don't want to stretch it that much, I can undo this. I can go to Edit and then Undo, Create Drawing, Control-Z. All right, so, all right. And then I'm going to hit the letter S on the keyboard. Instead of clicking here, I'm going to hit the letter S on the keyboard. If I hit the letter S, it goes forward. If I hit the letter A, it comes back to the other drawings. Okay, so I'm going to go S, S. And now I'm going to go, notice this is getting lighter. This is the darker one because this is the most recent. And the, the ability of use, or what's good about using onion skin is gives you the ability to see your previous drawing so you know how to direct your next drawing, okay? That's the power of it. So let's take and draw the next one, which is stretched even more. Notice it. And let's hit the letter S and go to the next step. And this one is, whoops, messed up. So I'm going to go edit, undo, Create Drawing or Control Z, and now I'm going to draw that one. Well, I'm going to go Control Z and do it really stretched. And now this one, I'm going to flatten it, and I'm going to hit the letter S. Go to this one, popping back up. Almost looks similar to the one that's here. And then it's going to start gaining its composure again, and there it goes. All right, so now let's take rewind this and push play. Notice that we have a bouncing ball. Let's put the loop. Okay, this will play it in a loop. Push play. And notice that this has a onion, an onion skin showing through there, so you can stop it. Turn your onion skins off or set it to no previous drawing and then push play. And if you have this on the loop, you'll see that the ball is bouncing over and over. So if we stop this, we can take the paint bucket we can go to frame number one, take a color, let's say red, fill it, hit the letter S, and keep moving forward with the letter S. And notice how fast you can actually color these. And if we take the move tool, or go ahead and push play, notice that's been colored instantly. Now, if we stop that and we double click the red color, double click that really hard, okay, you notice this little window pops open with colors. So that red chip is the one we clicked. So now we can change it to green, and we can close that. And when we play our movie, every one of those balls has been colored automatically for you because it was the chip color. That red ball was colored by that red chip. So it remembered everywhere you use that red. Okay, if we do it again, change that same chip to yellow. Okay. Now, when we press OK and press play, you'll see that the ball is bouncing. 
Don't worry about it, what it's doing over here in the thumbnails. Sometimes you'll see that it does color them or it doesn't. The one that you're on, just let it be. Okay, this concludes this lesson. Hope you have learned. Go to the next lesson and learn the difference between a bouncing rubber ball and a bouncing bowling ball. Let's do the bowling ball now.